UFC is massive, obviously. We know the UFC is massive. And, and as I keep having to point out to people, it's actually not... UFC is a brand. It's a promotion. Right. Company. It's a company. It's not, it's not the actual sport. Has MMA suffered slightly because of this one enormous company that seems to dominate everything? The, what, the, what's your gut feeling? The, the fans have benefited. So, basically, we get to see the best fight the best. We don't have this thing where there's a belt in one company and a belt in another one. Yeah. And we wonder who's going to be the best. For such a long time, we've had the best of the best in one place. But it's not good for the athletes. Mm. Uh, and what's happened now is more promotions are growing, so like ACB. More, more is an Bellator. understatement. There's dozens it's, of you guys out yeah, there. It really bounce off of what Brian is saying. is absolutely correct. When it started out, it was a, a phenomenal thing that all the best fighters could face each other. Mm. We didn't have the problems that sometimes you would see in boxing with different promoters wouldn't allow their key star athletes of the same weight class mm. face off. The only problem is that over the last couple of years, only having one promoter, like Brian was pointing to, it's not great for the fighters because there's no ability to shop out. It's, if you have a job and there's only one guy hiring, yeah, he'll pay you what he wants to pay you. Yeah. And so it's now, kind of a monopoly. The, yeah. So now with Bellator and ACB and the different organizations stepping up, it's good to, for everybody. It's awesome for us as the fighters.